Hi friends, and thank you for tuning in to mrchoy.com.au. Today we're going to discuss emotions in real estate. Now, it's an emotional game. Uh, we work so hard, we try and help people, we give them all our time, uh, advice, and we've got their best interest in mind, and yet still things don't happen our way. And we just think, oh, why is this happening to me? I'm a good person, I'm trying to help these people, and yet these things still happen. So look, it's, it, it, it happens with everyone. It's, you see some uh, high-flying real estate agents, you see them go, oh yep, yeah, and you just look at them and go, wow, these guys are just always happy. How do they do it? And today I'm going to show you some of their secrets on how they actually do it, because they're not exempt to things going wrong in their day. Okay, in fact, they're so busy that a lot more things can possibly happen, but it's, it, it's how they deal with it. So I'll show you some things. Firstly, um, when you're positive, it's impossible to be negative. When, you're, when you have anxiety, you can't have relaxation. When you have gratitude, you can't have resentment. And when you're unhappy, you can't be happy. So what I mean by this is you either have one or the other. They can't coexist. Now this is really cool because we can use this to our advantage. So simply put, if you're um, feeling unhappy, all you have to do is feel happy. And you say, Michael, that's not that easy. If, if, if um, something's happened, I can't just to flick a switch, but it can be that easy. It really, really can. So they can't coexist. You either have one or the other. Now, I want to talk about happiness or, or, or this side being a habit rather than uh, a feeling. So it's a habit rather than a feeling. So you can actually teach your body, train your body, mind and soul to actually be happy all the time or to, to be relaxed, to be positive, to have gratitude. And the way that you do that is every time that you're not feeling that way, you, you, you go, okay, flick the switch. And you change, and you try and change as much as you can. And sooner or later, down the track, your body will just gear that way, and that will be its default position. So you can actually create default mindsets by creating a habit, okay? Now, they say laughter is the best cure, right? And, um, and uh, I did a little bit of looking into this, and basically, um, Laughter is the best cure, and it's because when you're laughing, you're smiling. And when you're smiling, positive chemicals are going through your body, endorphins are going through your body, and that's making you feel better, that's making you healthier, and it's just, it just makes you feel good, okay? So, when you're unhappy, and you smile, your brain has been taught where every time you smile to release those chemicals. So when you're unhappy and you still smile, your body's releasing those chemicals because it knows every time you smile, you're supposed to release those chemicals. So that's a way to train your body, train your mind to still release positive chemicals even when you're feeling unhappy and then you can create that habit. Okay? Really, really cool. Uh, Dr. Steve, the late Dr. Stephen Covey uh, spoke about being response-able. Now, I know that's not how you spell it, but I, I spelled it like that because of the way he put it. He talks about being responsible and responsible to the way you react, okay? So you can't control certain situations that happen in your day in real estate. Uh, someone may withdraw, someone may choose to go with someone else, uh, another real estate company, um, someone may cool off. Um, you might have a property that's cooled off three times, finances fall through. You, you can't, to a certain degree, you can't control that. But what you can control is your reaction to what just happened. Okay, and so your response, able. Okay, you're able to choose your response to the certain situation. And it's interesting because Dr. Stephen Covey talks about um, when something negative has happened, if you uh, react in a negative way, that'll lead into certain other things, your speed. Um, say something happens at home, so then your speed, and that holds you back, so then your speed to go up to, to work, and then because you speed, you get a, a a ticket from the policeman and because you get a, a ticket from a policeman you're even later to work and then you have an argument with, with your employer and etc et and it just grows and grows and grows to an avalanche okay yet if you didn't have a dispute at the start of the day none of that would have happened so it's interesting you, when there's certain people and we all know them and you can think about them and hopefully it's not you but we all know that when something happens in their life, it's like, oh man, they just attract bad news. How does it always happen? And it's because of their response to the very first trigger. And that just creates extra things. 
So it's really, really important to be able to respond positively to any circumstance that happens because the way that you respond to that, the way that you react to that is actually going to have a flow-on effect for the rest of your day. And real estate is, is, is an emotion-filled game. And they say you have to have tough skin, but I really think you just have to know how to create habits. Friends, hang in there, have heaps of fun in this business. It is, a, it is the coolest industry. Where else can you earn this kind of money for that, for that little amount of, of study that you have to do? And it really, really is that easy, okay? So, friends, hope you enjoyed. Take care. Cheers.